building, you cannot record in here. And why are you recording our machines and stuff? I'm, I moved up to talk to you. Get out the office right now or I'll call the cops. Get Excuse out. me? Get out or we'll call the cops. Who are you first? I'm the supervisor, so you can stop recording or I can call the cops. Which one do you want? I'm not gonna get my ID. Let you me get, can I, can I get your name first? Uh, let's, yeah, let's de, report, let's okay. de-escalate. Let's de-escalate, yeah. right, okay. fellas? That's what you guys are trained to do? Turn around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 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 Put your hands okay. I'm not gonna resist. You're under arrest for trespassing. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. I am extremely excited to finally be able to share with all of you the video where I was arrested for criminal trespassing at the United States Post Office in Waterbury, Connecticut. As most of you already know, we the people have already won. The case has been dismissed and my property that was stolen from me has been returned. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is definitely one of the biggest post offices I've ever been in. Seems massive. Hi. Are you recording? I am recording, ma'am. I'm sorry? Personal reasons. Personal reasons. No, I know it's a federal building. I'm very well aware. Thank you. I don't know why everybody seems to uh, want to reiterate that this is a federal building. Seems pretty obvious to me. Excuse me. Hi, ma'am. How are you? You cannot be recording in here. I'm sorry? You cannot be recording in here. Why? You can't. It's a federal building. You cannot record in here. And why are you recording our machines and stuff? I'm, I moved up to talk to you. No, ma'am, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Can I get your name? Ma'am, can I get your name? No. You're not going to give me your name? No. Okay. Are you sure I can't get your name, ma'am? This guy is recording our register and he won't turn the camera off. Get out the office right now or I'll call the cops. Get Excuse out. me? Get out or we'll call the cops. Who are you first? I'm the supervisor, so you can stop recording or I can call the cops. Which one do you want? Well, I'm not going to stop recording, unfortunately, ma'am. What's your name? Can I get your name? Wow. Everybody seems friendly here. Okay. no reason for her to be calling the police, but I guess this is what they're trained to do. Recording the registers. <laughs> oh man, people make me laugh. I think that's so funny. Sit here and wait for the police. We're not doing anything wrong. Peacefully exercising our First Amendment right to film in public, in publicly accessible areas. Well guys, this looks like another case of beautiful building with some uh, rotten apples on the inside. Those two women were extremely obnoxious. And one of them is the supervisor. Oh man. 
we'll educate them today and uh, hopefully we can part ways as civil human beings. This is uh, one big welcome to Connecticut I got. How are you doing today? Hey, how are you? Good. You have any issues? I'm not having any issues, no. No? Can I get your name? Okay. Yeah, First, let me. ID, yeah, you're not. Report. Yeah, you're not gonna give it. You're not gonna get my ID. Let you're me. Get, can I? Can I get your name first? Uh, let's let's de. Report, let's okay. de-escalate. Let's de-escalate, yeah. right, okay. fellas? That's what you guys are trained to do. Let's de-escalate. So, yeah. I. Uh, my, uh, name, uh, my name. Uh, my name. Uh, my name. Okay. This is a federal building. I understand that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You have private citizens in here. Okay. Okay. And they do not want to be recorded. Okay. All right. You understand that, correct? I understand everything you just said. Number one. Number uh -huh. two, the woman over there is in charge of what goes on in this building. If she asks you to leave, then you need to leave. Okay. All right. Otherwise, so, otherwise, that's called trespass. You understand that? This is, you can't be trespassed from public unless you... Trespassing from public? No, no. Sir, actually, sir can I just get your name that's before we finish that's our conversation? True. That is not true. Your badge is 2-2? That, that is not true. It is true, sir. Is, sir, can you no. can you call a supervisor? Yes, Absolutely. Can you call a supervisor? Absolutely. Because I, can I show you one thing over here? Maybe you want to take a look at it, because I don't think they really know their. Uh, these are the uh, rules governing. I, I get what you're trying to no, do. But, no, but no, 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 no. Listen. With, uh, uh, you, yeah, but okay. Disturbance here, but I'm not making a disturbance. You, you gotta leave. Look, 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 look. These are the rules and regulations governing governing the postal search. The this is the rules. He doesn't have a mask on. Got his COVID shot. Double vaccinated. How do, how do I know that? Today is maskless day. Did you know that? If you're double vaccinated, you don't have to wear oh, so, a mask. Oh, so if, if I'm vaccinated, business, I don't have to wear it? I don't have to wear it? Double vaccinated. So if I'm double vaccinated? Double vaccinated. I don't have to wear a mask then? Correct. Today okay. Is day. Yeah. So these are the rules and regulations governing the postal uh, property. Okay. And right here, photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes are permitted are in the lobbies. I am. I am, yeah, and you will see it. I don't. I don't need to. This is not Nazi Germany. This is, this is not Nazi Germany, and this is not Venezuela. I don't need to show you my papers. You're causing annoyance and alarm. No, I'm not. I'm peacefully filming. I'm peacefully filming. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Uh, clues. Clues. Yeah. That's all I'm doing here today. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not here to have any problems. I didn't talk to anybody. It's all on video. I'm sure they have. I'm sure. I'm sure they. It's a shame. You think so? Do you think exercising my First Amendment right to film in public is a shame? Did you take? Did you? Do you take by filming? You can't turn a constitutionally protected activity into an annoyance. You understand what I'm saying? You took an oath, right, to uphold the Constitution. Come on, man. You got to take your job seriously. You got to. You got to really. You, you know, you took an oath. That's serious. You're a man. You. You. You got to take it seriously. All I'm doing is exercising my First Amendment right. That's it. I'm not ignoring anybody. All I'm doing is filming in a public building. That's all I'm doing. That's it. Nothing more, nothing You're less. You're viewing sensitive information. I'm not viewing. Personal sensitive if information. The onus is she not on me, that sir. The onus is filming over there, then you might be sir, doing something wrong. No, the onus is not on me to protect information at the post office. I don't work. I don't work at the post office. You have nothing better to do. To exercise my right? No, I think it's very important. Okay. We live in the United States of America, correct? I think it's very important. You know, first it's filming in public, then well, what's next? You know what I mean? You guys got to do your job. Asking me for ID, I haven't committed a crime. Where's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? Come on, you guys know. All right, you, maybe you didn't, but your, your partner did. Right? You guys got to learn the law if you want to uphold it. Come on, man. It's, I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything. I'm just trying to be real with you. I'm trying to be. I, I, I'm. I understand. I'm not saying that you did, and I'm not saying it's against the law if you did. I'm just saying like you don't have a right to my ID, so why would I give it to you? They used to ask for ID in Nazi Germany, and look how that turned out. Just peacefully filming. This is a beautiful post office. I'm working on a story. Where I'm from, they don't have post offices this big and beautiful. 
You guys are very lucky here. Waterbury. I actually would like to speak to the postmaster. Are you the postmaster? <laughs> Didn't look like it. You guys got body cameras out here in Waterbury? No? According to who? Huh? Four. According, I got according. four. I got three times by a okay. clerk and one time by a supervisor. I want to speak to the postmaster. Okay. I don't want to speak to a supervisor. I want to speak to the postmaster. No. Sir, no, I'm going to let you know that. I'm engaging in a uh -huh. First Amendment protected okay. activity. All right. But you, you are not. No, I am. You okay. cannot trespass in public, sir. I'm engaging in a. I have business here. I'm working on a story, you sir. You have to leave by the person in charge here. Sir. That's trespass. Get your supervisor. Okay. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor, please. Do you have. They're on their way. Thank you. I would love to speak okay. with them because this is a First Amendment right, protected first of all, activity. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. You work with me and I'll work with you. We're going to step outside because I don't want to disturb any more of the public here. Well, I'm not okay. disturbing anybody. You yes, guys. You are. By you guys coming you here are, are disturbing people. Not. Yes, you are. I was peacefully filming. I was peacefully you cannot, filming. You cannot just film. You yes, I can. Really it's a First cannot. Amendment right, no, sir. No, it's not. You don't know not. the law. You oh, took it. You can't. Oh, there you can't. You took. Uh, there you go. Sir, it's right on the board over there. It's right, right on the board you over there. You us our, your credentials of your, the news or whoever. I don't need to, sir. This is the United States of America. This is not so how do I know North who you are? Korea. How do I know who you are? What do you are mean? You, you don't need to, to know. Around. You're going to have to turn around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to put okay. This down. Okay. Okay. Put your hands okay. Down. I'm not going to resist. I'm not okay. resisting. Okay. You're not resisting. I'm not you're resisting. Not. Here you go. Do All what right. you got to do. I want to speak you're to the supervisor. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. You guys are making a big mistake here, sir. I was peacefully filming in a public place, exercising a First Amendment right, sir. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's all I was you doing. You were also asked to leave several times by people that work here, that have charge of this place. You need to review statutes on trespassing. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sir. So this doesn't happen in the future. Okay. It's, it, I mean, it's never happened before because the, the police officers know that I can't be trespassed. But, I mean, obviously here in Connecticut, you guys don't abide by the Constitution. So, I mean, it is what it is. This is what you guys like to do. Violate people's First Amendment rights. Can I get that supervisor now? Yeah, that's all. Okay. You got anything on you I should know about? No, sir. Just whatever you took from me. Got your phone. Yeah. So, Did you turn off my phone? Uh -huh. Did you turn it off? I don't know. Okay. Don't turn off my phone, uh -huh. please. It's recording, so. Yeah, I know it is. That would be another civil I, rights I'm violation. I'm happy it's recording. <laughs> okay, good. Good. You know? I've been very reasonable with okay. you, sir. Yeah, I'm not saying that's why you're not going to get a breach of teeth or disorderly conduct. You actually okay. have been very nice. I've been trying to be reasonable. Okay. But all right, guys. So the footage ends right there. Eventually, a sergeant did arrive on the scene, but to no one's surprise, she backed her officers violating my constitutional rights 100%. Typical thin blue line activities. I was then transported to the Waterbury Police Department, where my property was stolen from me. Two hours later, I was released on a promise to appear. As most of you already know, I've been representing myself pro se for the last 11 months in the Waterbury Superior Court, and I am proud to say that we, the people, have won. The case has been dismissed. My property has been returned to me. Now it is time for some accountability. I will be filing a federal lawsuit. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for further updates on that. Now, let's talk about the audit. 
because none of this would have happened if it wasn't for the fundamental lack of knowledge on the part of the postal employees at this location, especially the supervisor. Not only did she escalate the situation and acted in a way unbecoming of a public servant, she also lied on a police report saying that I put my camera underneath the glass and behind the counter. That never happened. I have already spoken to the acting postmaster at this location and he assures me he will be watching the video and he will take appropriate disciplinary action toward her. If you're watching this, I hope you do the right thing. We the people deserve accountability. As far as the officers, very condescending, very disrespectful from the moment they got there, demanding ID, telling me I need to leave. They didn't care about my constitutional rights. They just wanted to see ID or credentials. That's all they wanted. And they didn't get it. And because they didn't get it, they arrested me. And now look what happened. Now they are being sued. So I hope everybody involved in the situation learned something. As always, stay safe. God bless. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Long Island Audit. Peace.